El Protegio, or the Preterite Tense. The Preterite Tense represents a completed action in the past. So it is a form of the past tense, but it's not the only tense that we use to talk about things that have happened in the past. When we conjugated verbs in the present tense, and we're talking about regular verbs, we simply did two things. First, we dropped our ending, and then we added our new ending. These rules still apply. However, in the preterite, our endings are different. For AR verbs, our endings are for yo, a, tu, aste, el, ea, usted, o, nosotros, amos, vosotros, hasteis, y ellos, ellas, ustedes, auto. For ER and IR verbs in the preterite, the endings are the same. So our endings are yo, e, tu, iste, El, ella, y usted, y yo, nosotros, imos, vosotros, estéis, and ellos, ellas, y ustedes, yeron. So let's take a look at the, how we would conjugate these verbs in the preterite. For our AR verb, the conjugation of the verb hablar would be yo hablé, tu hablaste, él habló, ella habló, Usted habló, nosotros hablamos, vosotros hablasteis, ellos hablaron, ellas hablaron, ustedes hablaron. For an ER verb, the verb comer would become, yo comí, tú comiste, él comió, ella comió, usted comió, nosotros comimos, Vosotros comisteis, ellos comieron, ellas comieron, ustedes comieron. For an IR verb, your conjugations would be for the verb vivir, yo viví, tú viviste, él vivió, ella vivió, usted vivió, nosotros vivimos, vosotros vivisteis, ellos vivieron, Ellas vivieron, ustedes vivieron. Note that for the nosotros and vosotros forms of AR and IR verbs, these endings are identical to their present tense forms. Practicamos ahora. Conjugué los siguientes verbos en el pretérito. Por ejemplo, en número uno tenemos el comprar. La conjugación de el comprar en el pretérito es el compró. Completan números 2 a 10 y pónganlos en el Dropbox. Make sure you do 2 through 10 and turn these answers into the Dropbox. AR and ER verbs that had a stem change in the present tense no longer have a stem change in the preterite. Let's take a look at a few of these as examples. The verb serar in the present tense had an e to i e stem change. So it would be yo cierro in the present tense. But the yo form of serar in the preterite is yo seré. There is no stem change. Take a look at the verb volver. In the present tense, it was an O to U E stem changing verb. So, for example, it would be yo vuelvo in the present tense, but in the preterite, it is simply yo volví. The verb jugar is a special verb. In the present tense, it does have a stem change of O to U E, so it's yo juego, but in the preterite, we keep the U and it's yo jugué. We do have to make some orthographic changes in the preterite for certain verbs. Remember that orthographic changes are made to maintain the original pronunciation of the verb that you're conjugating. So for verbs that end in G-A-R or gar, in the yo form, it would be G-U-E or ge. For verbs that end in C-A-R or gar, it becomes ge. For verbs that end in Z-A-R, it becomes say. 
This is only in the yo form. No other forms need this change. Let's take a look at a few examples. So if we have the verb llegar, in the yo form it's llegó for the present tense, but in the preterite it's yo llegué. Notice that it has that gr ending, and you'll never ever say ye he. Notice that's what happens. It's pronounced as ye he if you do not make that orthographic change. Instead, what you need to do is do g u e so you maintain the g sound of the verb yegar. Same thing applies for the verb tocar. The original pronunciation has a k sound in it. So you do not want to say yo tose. That's what happens when you don't change it to q u e. Instead, when you do add the q e e, it is yo toke. For verbs that end in zar, you're not going to say m be se with a z. Instead, you'll say m be se with a c e to maintain that pronunciation. Take a moment to do some practice. Let's take a look at numbers one and two here. It says, nosotros tocar. Well, if we're to conjugate this in the preterite tense, we're simply going to say tocamos because we know that our AR ending for nosotros in the preterite is almost the same as it would be in the present tense. Let's take a look at number two. Usted mostrar. Well, mostrar in the present tense has an O to UE stem change, but that does not happen in the preterite. Instead, it's mostro. Try three through eight on your own. Turn in your answers when you're done to the Dropbox.